Hello everybody, welcome to Digital Painting and Photography channel. This is Toshiyagi from beautiful Little Island, Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer, I made this image a couple of weeks ago. Okay, beautiful woman shot. Okay, this is by Copilot Designer, Daddy 3. A adjunctive image, original image, expand, before expand, upscale this image with clear AI and expand to this size. Okay, the image is this. Little bit dark, but pretty interesting image, isn't it? From this to this. I changed the background and uh, Upscale with clear AI, so get so beautiful woman and uh, expand to very interesting background. Nice. Okay, this is the base image. I made line drawing type image with fine edges on Adobe Photoshop. Got line drawing type image, then change blend mode to pin light effect, half tone, add over this, got this image, then duplicate, same base image, expand the image, change blend mode to color, add over this, we got this nice amber color, then duplicate this image, again layer, change blend mode to overlay, add over this, got so much contrast, okay. From this to this. Nice, huh? Interesting. Okay, let's make something interesting image from this. Okay, make group. This four layers make group. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate this base group image. Then flatten this to one layer. Okay, now just turn it off to keep this one layer base group image then over this base group add layer fill this layer with white then add mask okay then uh, duplicate this line drawing type image move this one up over white layer change blend mode to darken Opacity is... Okay, leave it max. Because I want to show these trees a little bit sharpened. Okay. Now, reveal this white layer. Change brush to evolve. Drawing to evolve. Change color to black. Alright. Let's see. A little bit thin opacity. Let's see the model first. Okay, now leave it this. Okay, I want to add. Okay, add gradation color layer over this. Okay, add mask. Invert this mask. Now open. Open a little hole for gradation colors. Okay, let's see. Brushes, same, evolve. Change color to white. Okay, leave it this. Now add color. Change brush to soft brush. Air brushing to soft brush. Then add the color. Okay, go for amber color, orange, light orange. Let me see, just turn off this white layer mask. Now, a little bit dark on this. Okay, then let me see about this. 
it seems kind of interesting. Okay, brush, color is dark, then trees color. Let me see, turn off this radiation color mask. Oops. Mm. Okay, just the uh, colors. What's gonna happen? I don't know. Let me try this. Alright, turn on mask. Well, two masks. Okay, then let me see this tree's color. Turn off this white layer. Then uh, turn on this base group one layer image. Then change blend mode to screen. I'm looking at this tree's color. Color dodge has more contrast, huh? Screen is lighting up. Kinda interesting this. Okay, let me see if I... Okay, only for trees. Let me see. Keep this image. Just color dodge effect. Then duplicate this layer. Bottom layer, change blend mode to normal. So we're gonna keep this image, right? Okay, top layer, change to clipping mask. Then make mask on this bottom layer. Then invert this mask. Okay, if I wanna show light contrast image, just open this mask, right? Change brush to Evolve and small size opacity pretty much dark. Let me see color dodge. Yeah, color dodge is the interesting effect. Let me see. Now turn on this white layer. Okay. Now I will fix these masks. Fix this gradation little window. Okay, now model's face. Let me see these dark lines. I want to mask this surrounding. So make mask. Then, uh, let me see, change brush to soft. Okay, hide this. Clean up fingers. Okay, not much. Okay, then, let me see about this base group image. Okay, this is color dodge. Lighten, but that's too much on model's face. So I want to duplicate this base group image. Okay, this is not clipping mask. Okay, change this blend mode back to normal. Then duplicate this normal blend mode. Then one over the top, change to screen. So it's gonna lighten up model's face, right? 
So now make it clipping mask. This is for model's face. So make mask. Invert this mask. Then open model's face with soft brush. Color is white. About this. Not much. Touch, yeah? Okay. Touch, I want to smooth. Smoothing model's face. So, smudge on this. Two layers. Oh, turn on this mask. We don't see the smudged image. Okay, I gotta smudge this this layer too. Both layers. These two layers. Okay, pretty much that one. Alright, now open this mask. Okay, let's see. Lighten, smoothen. Okay, now let me see overall image, colors, gradation colors. Okay, now I wanna Add some colors on models face. So add very top. Add color. Add layer. Okay, change blend mode to color. I want to touch emphasize colors. Tone down some yellowish color. Okay. Let me see overall image now. And some more. Okay, let me see. Line drawing type image blend mode is darken right now. Change this darken to color burn. Darken colors. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Color burn. Alright, I think pretty much done. Lighten. Okay, from this, this base group image overlay color pin light effect. Well, so much dark base image, huh? Okay, from this upscale and expand image, base image, add pin light half tone, color, then overlay contrast. We got this base group image. Over this base group image, add white layer with mask. Then add radiation color with mask. 
now add add base group image change blend mode to instead of screen use this color dodge effect that's for uh, that's for these three branches just lighten up contrast up like so well add line drawing type image but I changed color burn mm -hmm. it goes dark huh? well just leave it this right now and uh, add base group image lighten up model space and smoothing with smudged these layers screen effect like so then add color very top add color blend mode to fix her skin tone reduce down yellowish color to this yeah then line drawing type image darken branches and stuff that's pretty interesting i think yep that's it this is it for today and uh, thank you for watching my video i really appreciate for you guys support and uh, i hope you're gonna find some idea for your creative work and uh, you guys have a nice day and see you next time bye now ciao good day Thank you.